I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Let's go! If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor. way forward. Very protective. It worked. Let's go. Blue Moss! Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Bombarda! 
Don't you fight in us, I've been fighting since before you were born. Please, I won't. These tunnels have We're getting closer, Professor. That way. somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms.
We got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking... What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her, and the others, sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? The Keepers were right. The risk of using this magic is too dangerous. It is my responsibility alone to keep it safe. I understand, but you are not entirely alone. I will do all I can to help you. God. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <laughs> Seems you're too up either.
his magic is somehow protected from the dragon.
Professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! I suspect you are the one who- Never imagined we'd attend a funeral for one of our professors. <sighs> Glad Weasley spoke for Fig. She honored him. He'll be well remembered. I only wish we could have done the same for Solomon Sallow. I need to go and see Anne soon. Ominous, there's something I need to tell you. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if you faced quite a fight. 
The rumor's true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Victor Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. You see, since Feldcroft was of interest to Ranrock, it became of interest to Rookwood as well. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw Anne, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. Oh, so cruel. Rookwood got what he deserved. Thank you for telling me. Anne and Sebastian deserve to know, and it should come from me. As we discussed, I spoke with Black. Sebastian's with the headmaster now, but perhaps there's a way to get word to him. When I find out, I'll send an owl. Thank you for coming. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled and will soon face trial at the Ministry. Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels, as much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions. It will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. Sebastian brought all of this on himself. We tried and tried to stop him. We did. I just wish things had turned out differently. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Anne was shocked too but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. <laughs> she does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant, means, a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Revelio. Professor Weasley? You wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on. And that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumours. You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even helped Mr. Ollivander track down a family wand. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been Snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, Two Hogwarts students are behind it. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. It seems you've completed much of your field guide. Well done. 
but you've still a little left to do. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Special knack! It's tormenting, Professor! This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah! And now we to finish Woo! the loyalty Woo! of Helga Hufflepuff, Woo! the wisdom of Rowena Raventlaw, hey! Hey! and the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits I'd say 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner.